Hello everybody, welcome. Good afternoon, it's Sunday, 1st of April. I don't know if, they, if in the United States they have this little thing, but in, in England we have this little... Um, when it's the first of the month, you surprise somebody, you come up to them and you pinch them and you punch them. And you say, pinch and a punch for the first of the month. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, an English thing or a, like today's April Fool's Day, I think that's universal, isn't it? Ah, well, here we are. Yeah, it's just started to rain. And uh, that rise, that rather nice smell you get, uh, you know, uh, when you get a bit of rain, after it had not rained for a while. So, I'm just here. I wanted to finish off that um, cutlery drainer that we did together the other day. I've also got over there some some slightly bigger GPs that I need to just finish off. So I don't know whether this will be one one clip or two, but a bit of warm water there. Yeah, so. So, so, so. Well, let's just bring the camera a little bit nearer. Shino's here at our feet. Um, just move in a touch. Like so. Like so. Shino. What is it? What's it? What is it? <laughs> okay, I'll do. <laughs> so, yep. Okay, I've got a trim tool here. That will do. And a knife. So, yeah, I've got this guy here, I put a bag over him. There he is, just that. Now he's a little bit thick in the base, remember? So, the first thing I'm going to do is eyeball him, make sure that he's, he's round, you see. Because he's still, if he, wasn't, if he wasn't round, I could probably still round him, you know, it's still not so hard that I couldn't do that. Okay, so, but he's looking round, and one of the reasons he's round is he's got a rolled rim, and you'll find that things that you roll rims on stay round. Which is a which is nice, isn't it? I don't like looking at bowls and things and seeing them all warped or or misshapen, you know. So I'm just tap centering him, give him a push down, we damp the wheel head and we damp the rim of the pot, tap center, push down, you see? That's the that's how we do it, okay? And that's actually, you know, is quite stuck on there. Let's just bring the camera in a touch here on the top of the pot so you can see what I'm doing. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, that's okay, we don't need to be right on top of it, but that's Close enough, I think. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty it out here, a portion in the middle.
I'm not going to take out too much though because I don't want to make the base thin you see because we need the thickness there in the base for the knives, forks and spoons etc that are going to be put in there. And sometimes the knives, forks and spoons they get put in there quite viciously you see because Sometimes people, they don't want to be doing the dishes really, and they get a bit cross and, you know, so they throw them in. Okay, like that. Now the next thing I'm going to need is, which I haven't got here, it's in the other room. Ha! Of course it's in the other room here. Yeah. Just bear with me, I'll be right back. So, I actually wanted my One of these. It's a hole borer. Yeah, that's good. All right. We're going to take the hole borer and I'm just going to put. Put some holes in here. Like this. Now maybe you don't have a, a need for one of these. In your household. And maybe you think, oh well Simon, I don't need that. I've got a I have a dishwasher, and a plate washer. Well, you could still sometimes, you know, you need something for draining off some um, draining off something tool maybe right I'm just thinking to myself you can probably hear my mind ticking um, just how many holes I actually really need to put in there and I'm thinking that's probably enough actually. okay so you don't need, you just need enough holes just to let the water out. Now, you know when you put a hole through something with a hole borer like this, it, it needs to be cleaned up, doesn't it? Now I've got a tool here, if you can see that. It's a bit dirty, isn't it? Clean it a bit. You see that? That's uh, actually it's a woodworking tool and it's for countersinking holes so that screw heads don't stick up above the wood, you know? But it's actually very useful for also if you've got holes like this that need tidying up. I'm just doing this now just to show you, but it's actually better to do it when it's slightly drier than what I have it here at the moment. 
Okay. So it just it just cleans up or when I used to work in engineering we would that would be we would call that de deburring. Deburring the holes. So you deburr the holes with a deburrer. Well this this is will work for that. So Alright, so let's just bring back the camera a touch. Oops. Let's just pull that back up a little bit. Like that. Rain. Rain. Okay, so. So you've got your, your pot, you've got your holes in the bottom. So if you are putting your knives and forks and spoons, etc., in here, dripping wet, the water is going to drip down through those holes. It's going to drip out, but it's not going to be able to escape, is it? Bear in mind, we're going to put this... I've been talking about putting it on the countertop. Well, what I really meant was on the side of the sink where the drainer is, of course it will sit. So the water needs to escape from from underneath that foot ring. And there's, 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 there's a couple of ways of doing it. One is to take pads of clay and make little feet. That's one way of doing it. And the other way of doing it is simply to put, as it were, like a, a cutout here through the side of this, the wall here, where I've created this wall, just on the edge here. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for the, the simpler, the sim, yeah, go for the simpler option. Somebody said, take life by the smooth handle. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm not going to make work for myself. Well, I mean, there's actually, you know, the, the other way is, 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 you could argue is, it could, you know, look quite nice. It's always a balance though, isn't it? Getting, you know, your time, how much time you've got, you know, to devote to To doing something and how ornate you want to make something. I don't know about you, are you somebody who likes things that are really ornate? I, I do, I do sometimes, I like things that are ornate. Other times I actually, I'm not mad about over adornment, you know, I like the, I do like simplicity. Um, Now what I'm doing here is just taking this fettling knife and just scalloping out the side of the I'm trying to do it as neat as possible. Of course this is a this is hand work, isn't it? You've got to get that get that motion. make it look neat you know and you want to make sure that these cutouts are are, are opposite each other so that's just to show you what I've what I've done and that's what's going to allow the in a very simple way the water that's collected underneath the foot ring there to run away down the drainer, back down into the sink. Okay, good. But you see, I said one thing a moment ago, but now I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> I think you don't really fancy, you know, having 
feet on this thing is going to make it that much higher and, and possibly more topply. But now I'm thinking, as one does, I'm thinking about thinking about adding something. I don't know if you remember, but the other day I made some some of these decorating wheels. Remember? Well, you didn't actually, you don't remember because I don't think I did them, or these particular ones I don't think I did um, I know, we, yeah, we took them out of the kiln, didn't we? That's right. We fi we'd fired them, I'd fired them in the, in the bisque. And um, so, actually we ought to do, we ought to do a clip on that, ought we not? See, these are just little, little wheels. You can make these yourself. In fact, these ones, some of these ones here, this guy, this guy, these, I didn't even throw them on the wheel, you know, I just got, I just got a, a round lump of clay and I just, I just formed it in my hand. And you can get it quite accurately, you know, so it's, it's actually round, you know, and uh, that's what we did. So, let's see if we can, um, you see this, this pot, quite likely is not going to have, <clears throat> not going to have, I'm not going to glaze it, I'm probably going to leave the exterior unglazed, in which case, you know, just to give it, spruce it up a little bit, maybe some impression. What I'm going to do is though, I'm just going to give it a little, a little spray because, no, I don't want to do that too much now, do I, otherwise it's going to get sticky. wanted to soften it just a touch around the top there. So it just takes the impression, you know, just a little better. Um, 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 uh. Yeah. So what kind of impression are we going to put on here? See, the little wheels, they lend themselves to go like all the way around, don't they? Um, I've got other little things in here which are not wheels. They are things like that. Just a piece of clay with holes in it. This and um, that one's got some grasses on it. So you can be inventive, be creative. Just take a little a blank of clay and, and then just squeeze it between your finger and thumb like that. Gives you something that looks like that, doesn't it? Well, on the front face of that, you can, you can put any kind of impression that you want. You carve into that, let them dry out, yeah, make half a dozen of them. Next time you have a bisque firing, get some lumps of clay and make yourself some little stamps, you see? There's another guy, I don't know if you can see that. I can't see what you're seeing, I don't know what this camera's showing you, but... So, that's what you should do. So, <laughs> sometimes it's quite nice to have a thicker line and then have a thinner line, you know? Um, this is like a herringbone design. Why don't we try that one? Now I'm going to put this on the wheel. I'm going to very slowly ro rotate the wheel and push this in, but in the process of pushing, I've got to keep my hand on the inside, you see, because if I don't, just the pressure will just cave the side of the potting, won't it? So I don't know if I'm going to make a good job of this. 
it's possibly a little a little on the hard side for, for me to be doing this in actual fact. Probably it would be better me doing this on a banding wheel actually. Because then Yeah, not making a very good job of this. Yeah. Not as good as I would like. To. Oh well, yeah. It's not too bad. Gotta remember, you see, the wider the wider your wheel is, the, the less penetration it will have into the soft clay. So like this one is fairly thin, so that one will penetrate more. I haven't used this one yet at all, it's completely the very first time I've used it. <sighs> so I've added, added, added another line, you see. Okay, enough of lines. Let's, uh, maybe we've got some. Uh, what else have we got here? Little grasses. What about that one? Oh, what about that one? Hmm. I'm gonna try this one. It's just small dots, you see. Now this one, are we in the camera? Hang on. D. Let me just sort of swing it a bit like that way. Okay, I'm going to just press them in. I've got my got my fingers, you see, opposite on the other side. So I've done one there. Let's swing it round the other side. And this is a good thing to remember when you're doing kind of repeat decorations. Think in terms of opposites. All right. So you do one on one side, and then you turn it around 180 degrees, and you do one on the other, and then you turn it 90. You see. It's just a way of getting things approximately evenly spaced. I don't like looking at things that are not evenly spaced sometimes. I mean, if it's a, if it's a decoration which is a repeated decoration over the surface of a pot, you want to get some sort of, at least I think so, some sort of uniformity about it. Okay, so now I'm doing let me just show you what I'm doing. You see that? So now I do the one that's in between these two. It's really high tech. So all I've got to do is gauge between that one and that one, go for the middle. You see? Go for the middle. All right, so we have a couple of bands at the top here, and then a, a, a repeat decoration like that. Ah, it's a bit of fun, you can be creative, you know, I mean, I didn't know what I was gonna do with this one, this is just completely, a, you know, off the top of my head, but.
So get yourself some clay next time you're having a bisque. Because you see the good thing about these things is they, they just they just go inside pots, you see. They don't take up any space. And they, they add something to your decorating repertoire. You know. The things, all the sort of decorative little treatments that you do to a pot, whether it be with a brush or with wax or with slips or whether you're impressing, you know, you, you, you need to build up a little, a little repertoire of, of little treatments that you do that you like to do and that you like to do repeatedly, that you feel work and, you know, so having a few of your own homemade tools is always, is always good, isn't it? So, there's another one there, you see, just with a simple crisscross. Yeah. Okay, folks, well, it's those guys. And I keep these in a the little jam jar, you see. And here we are, we've got a seal. In the same way, your seal, you can... Do you ever have difficulty, sometimes, maybe you're like me, I look at a seal and I think, which way up is it? I have difficulty sometimes seeing it. And sometimes what I do is, I make a mark on one side to... Um, to show me, to remind me which side of the seal. Yeah, so what I do is EF at the furnace. So I'm going to put, I put a little dot there with a permanent marker, you see. On one side like that. So whenever I pick up this seal, I don't ever have to look anymore to see which way is the writing or anything like that, okay? So just find a spot and we're just going to seal it there underneath EF at the furnace. At the furnace. Okay, that will be now dried. We'll spray it over with wood ash and wood ash will look quite nice with the impressed impressions. Okay, folks, well, thanks for joining me. And visit our website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, as I mentioned in the last clip, we're now doing these um, um, online webcam classes. And we actually had our first one on Saturday, which was like a free one. Uh, we're just trying to iron out some of the problems. It was actually quite good. Um, so, yeah, join us. The, di the difference, I suppose, is that you, we'll, you can interact with me and you can, you can ask me a question and I can make a comment about what you're doing. Um, you know, you might find that beneficial. Anyway, it's a bit of fun. You could give it a try. Um, so if you if you're interested in that, go to the go to the website there, and if you if you if you log on to the link at the underneath underneath this clip, and if you go to my website, there's a link there. It'll take you straight to that page where you'll see the schedule for the all of April. So it's there for you to look at if you want to if you want to join in. Okay, Simon Leach saying keep practicing. Your function with beauty. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.